All right, hello world, let's do this. How y'all doing tonight? Hope everybody's doing well. Um, never fails, right? As soon as you start, it's like something goes whoop in your eye. And then you have headphones on, so it's hard to put your glasses on. You know, whatever, it's all good. Uh, yeah, so hello, welcome to the stream. The Thursday night, stay Thursday. What day is today? Thursday. That's polite. Um, and also, I have to shift every time I'm coming in. I don't get it. Yeah, so a little bummed. I tried to post the video from last night, and it got copyright struck because there was 50 seconds of half a frame of or of half of a image size area of a video that I was looking at trying to do. I didn't have the sound, which I intentionally did, um, but even just the the visual of it, just half of the visual for 50 seconds got a copyright kick and it like took down the whole video. So uh, I got to edit that out and that's going to be whatever frustrating, but I'll just, I'll put it back up and I'll blur it because I'm still, I'm talking through the whole thing. So YouTube would let you clip it, but like the words that I'm saying there are helpful to, no, so whatever, um, it's all good. Just a little bit like, really? 50 seconds of no sound, just the visual? But they gotta defend it, I get it, whatever, it's fine. Uh, but what we're gonna do today is continue working on uh, my little script that picks up all the URLs for any tabs that I have open. Um, and actually, give me one second and let me look and see. Archive, no, where am I going? Prod, content. Yeah, so it's gonna be these daily links, but let me just take a peek at one of them because I don't have filters in on it yet. And what we need, and one of the things I'm gonna do today is put filters on it. Um, cause I need to filter out work stuff. Okay. This is okay. Cause I only had apparently stack overflow and YouTube open. Um, so hopefully this worked, but this is, so this yesterday's links is what it is. Um, oops. And of course it didn't update. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Oh, wait. Oh, I got a, wait, why didn't it? Oh, because I just updated. Okay, I understand what's happening. It didn't rebuild the site, but it certainly should have. Hang on. I don't understand what's happening. Oh wait, maybe I do. I got it now. I understand what's happening. So one of the things that we're gonna do tonight is update the timestamp so the timestamp's not identical in the template that it builds from every time. Because this was the original one that's legit. This is actually today's, which is ongoing. So I've taken a bunch of stuff out of it. Um, you can see a better example of that is basically last night. So it's just the collection of links that I pulled from last night of all the tabs that I had open. Um, and then I've just cleared everything out to start fresh with this one. So there's this and like uh, Hugo's not in here yet. Um, but in within like five minutes, this link will show up in here uh, as a new as a new link. It just grabs all the tabs, grabs the URLs, grabs the titles, drops them in here. So the, the thing to do here is, uh, yeah, so the first thing, um, we're going to update the timestamp on the blog post. Oh, it just zapped. Is that it? Here. Yep, Hugo. So there, it just updated. Um, I can close that now. That was an example. Uh, we're going to update the timestamp so that it actually shows up as the 15th and whatever. I need to figure out what hour I want to put it at. Um, 
Ooh, and actually, I guess that's interesting too, right? Is determine if you should only run during certain hours. So like if I leave, if I leave the thing running overnight and I leave tabs up, like you'd see all the same tabs. Um, I need to figure out like, like if I have tabs from one day and I close them out, I don't necessarily want all those same tabs showing up the following day. But I guess it doesn't matter, because if you close them over the course of the day... I don't know, I'm probably thinking too much about that. That's that's down the road. So, whatever. Uh, again, focus on the first step, not the eighth step. Eighth step. Um, so we're going to update the timestamp. Uh, I want to load a config file, and actually two config files. Uh, and the reason for that is I want to have one that I can show people and then one that's going to have work stuff in it that I don't want to show people. Um, just to not leak the information, it doesn't super matter, but what? I mean, it's proprietary. It's not proprietary. It's just work domains, whatever. Um, I want to move hard-coded variables into the config file. These are, this is where we're going to set up the patterns to filter out. So not just domains, but like... Um, I was thinking with the Amazon links, I want to filter out anything that's like, you know, me looking at my order history or whatever, but it's okay to show the stuff that I was looking at on Amazon. So that, that's cool, but there's some other parts of Amazon that aren't cool. So it'll be like regular expressions to figure out, um, what's acceptable. And it may be one of those things where we've got to set up like a two pass thing where it's like look at anything that says Amazon and then if it passes a set of whitelist filters then it's okay but everything else blacklist um, we'll have to figure that out to start with I'm probably just going to nuke Amazon um, YouTube links that aren't videos like me clicking around on my YouTube channel like that's not helpful for anybody like the YouTube videos that we watch is um, flip the title for Google search so it's in start. Um, so that'd be like, and Stack Overflow actually has already done this, but this, this would be an example. Hugo is at the end. Google search also shows up at the end, which I guess we could open a Google search. Um, hamster. That's what I was, my go-to recently. Um, oh, actually what we should have done. Here we go. Random nouns. Our random noun for the hour is null. Oh, procedure. There you go. Wait, is procedure? I guess it's a noun. Can't that also be a verb? Um, oh, yeah, a, a different one. I need to add this while I'm thinking about it. Uh, SDL. Twitch ideas. Whatever, we'll put it here. Um, that pulls a random noun, then grabs an image with that tag from Unsplash, the free photo site. Um, I did that. I needed to, I'm working on a thing to have this software called loopback that's not working right and i'm trying to write up uh, a little note for the rogue amiga developers the folks who develop it and i need to have some audio going but i've had all this pro like i've run into enough copyright stuff now so what i did was uh do, 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 do. my channel Actually, I'll link for that. So what I did was I took some of their free music that's copyright free that they give you and then grabbed an image from Unsplash just to put it back there so that there's something. And I'm actually planning to do this with basically all their library just to have songs that are up there and you make playlists for them and some other stuff. So that's that's coming at some point. Um, cool. So that should not get me copyright struck. 
because uh, that's a copyright free image with a copyright free music should be good uh anyways where are we doing um flip the titles a little bit update stack overflow to put my share link in uh drop preface on st stack overflow links um we'll see that when we get to it so that's where we're headed um so that's the the basic the basic run that song sounds like mike and the mechanics or something it kind of freaked me out i was like no not copyrighted music can't do that uh, cool. So let's go to 10:45. Actual start. Uh, sweet. So PyCharm. So the first thing we're gonna do. Uh, so I'm working on a live thing, which is not normally how you would do this, but. I'm okay with it right now. I don't want to have to go through, like I don't have a good setup and deploy process for all my local stuff. And that's, that would be a lot of work for not a lot of value in this particular case. Um, if I start doing, maybe that'll be a project that I do is to build a deployer for this or for all the stuff that I do locally, but that's not here yet. So I'm working live. Um, so I need to try and not explode things. Um, so I guess what I could do, yeah, let's actually do this. So library launch launch agents. So launch control unload com Alan W Smith URL URL. Oh, I got replay list. Okay, so now it's off. Uh, the it's not. That launch D script is like a cron tab that runs every five minutes that fires off the script that go grabs the tab that makes the page um, that followed the lady that ate the spider that did the web or whatever the thing is there. Um, I'm in the wrong place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this updated again. So here's hamster coming in. Oh, here's the example of Google search. So I want all the Google searches to be together on the alphabetized list. So I'm gonna look at the titles, find Google search, flip it over here. So it'll be like Google search colon hamster, Google search colon procedure or whatever. Cause I think it'll be better to look at. Um, the stack overflow, this that's the homepage. The actual links uh, have a different format. Um, now I kinda wanna go grab one that it's gonna get. Um, Jackal date. Yay, it's my page. Whoops. That was not what I meant to. Where's the Stack Overflow one? Oh, wait, who's got this one? Date four and clock. Oh, somebody's. So I'm in first place. They're in second place. And then I'm in third place again. Um, or this is my answer. Whatever. Uh, so here's. Actually, let's do two things. Let's grab a question which is cool, but then let's also grab an answer. And like, we could totally just grab these and look at the titles, but this will be the behavior um, to see how it works. Uh, so now we want to turn launch D script back on. Oops. All right, so we're going to work with it live, whatever. Uh, archive URLs. Yeah, actually, that's a really bad idea. Okay. Uh, first things first. Where's my README? Update the timestamp in the blog post. So that is right here. Um, and the first thing to decide is how uh, precise we want to make it. Because I think I want these links to show up at, at a certain time. And it's... So if it really... So I need to think about what how I want to have this run. Because um, if it's really yesterday's links, I'd want to push it when I... But the page gets made... 
during the day of. So I need to push the date forward by one day. Um, and then I could just pick whatever time. So like we'll do it at noon. So this, I'm not gonna worry about this. But we need to do um, this. And so what we need to do, oops. Uh, well, so I don't need to build this whole template. I just need to build this string. Um, so let's do that. Build. All right, there's our, whoops. Don't do that, come here. That was weird. I guess it was in the process of going back to this place when I messed with it. Build template date. So what we wanna have is this, we're gonna run our tests, test pass. I lost it, where'd it go? You know what we could do is fold all these. That would be super handy. I don't know why I didn't think to do that other times. Um, and just make sure we're in the right test and it's failing. Let's fail it, it fails, bring it back. It's good, okay. Uh, so now what we want to do is actual equals UA that, which is going to fail because we don't have that, which is fine. How do we want to, so wait, how do we want to do this? I want to actually set it as an instance variable. So that should still puke, right? And so I'm just doing the Sandy Met style shameless green. Like I'm just going step by step by step. I can make a bunch of jumps to do this, but like this is the, the, um, the methodology that I'm digging. So that equals that, right? So if we run, still failing because it doesn't equal this, whoops. Doesn't equal that. Now it'll pass, there we go. Um, and I may, in the future times, I may Yeah, I guess you could do it slightly different, because I don't like hanging that out there. Um, date. So this is going to fail because that doesn't exist. So we'll put that here. Passing and then passing. Okay, so that's now we can do our work. Let's code code fold. There's probably a button that says fold everything except this one. Sweet. Okay, so we've got a date that gets set. Oops. Uh, 
Now here's the question. I really... The date should just go automatically, right? Like, I shouldn't have to set the date explicitly outside. Like, the class... The class should just have the date. I should be able to overwrite it, but it should just be there and work. So we're going to put that in place first. Um, oh, I'm already doing it. Well, that's convenient. So... And I don't really have integration tests on this. Other than just running it. Um, I need you to come over here. So the output... Goes here. Uh, so we can open this with Sublime Text. Let's put it in two for now. Oh, there's a space up there. We should take care of that too. Um, we'll take care of that right now. Maybe. Right, MD file. Uh, So that'll take care of that. And then what we want to do also is really the thing I want to do right now is delete the JSON file, which is here. So I backed up all the, all the ones from today. Um, I'll put those back in again. There's, stuff in there that I want to filter out and it'll be easier for me to filter it out programmatically than having to go look at it. I mean, that's the whole point with the filters is there's stuff that I just don't want to go out because it's boring or it's dumb or it's personal or it's work, right? Um, so I'm going to look at all these every time before they go out regardless, but if I can have the machine take most of it, like all the stuff out that it can, I'm going to do that. So that's what this part is. Um, so now... Let's look at, so there's no JSONs in there, so it should just pick up whatever is open here, um, if it still runs. So, uh, let's see if it runs. No. Date time, date. So we did explode something with the date. Uh, line 66. Oh, how's it getting that date? Self set JSON path through dirt date. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Test JSON path. Set JSON path. All right, so I need to get back to green. Glad I tested it. That worked, okay. And so now we should see our JSON with that stuff, and then that updated this too. Would it, I'm happy that that worked. Okay, that's cool. So now actually what we need to do is make our JSON path use the internal date so we can drop this.
All right, so now we need to, so we're gonna close this for a minute. Uh, we're gonna leave that open for a minute, just so I remember where it is. So everything's passing, right? Yeah, so we're in a kind of a weird state, but that's okay. Um, I guess it's really a work in progress, but whatever. Uh, so set or test JSON path. Now what I want to do is is stay green. So can I do this? UA date equals date. No, uh, UA date equals this. Right, yep, that's gonna explode. Also, it needs to be self. No, UA, that's right. So that passes. So is there a way? Yeah, I can keep, okay, this makes sense. I can actually keep this, I can rotate this back. Because now that I've got that date set, I can start migrating this to use these. Right? Test pass. Test pass, okay. And since those are all pulled, I should be able to drop this, which is gonna fail. But then if I drop this, passed again, okay. It's a good way to do that. I was trying to figure out how to like stop using the input thing, but it's that's easy. You just you start calling the other stuff and then back it down. I, I was doing something like that last night, but I was tired and couldn't get my head around it. I couldn't get my head around it. I was tired, which didn't help. Um Okay, so that's there. Now we should, that would actually explode, but this and this and this should work. Running past, okay. Um, I'm not really gonna go look at the code, like if it doesn't explode, eh, maybe I am, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's at least make sure it's going to the right place. There you go. Data. Data. I'm gonna wait to move that root dir and the MD root dir. Like those will, I'll load those in the config. Um, I'll do it that way. Um, take it off for now. Uh, but let's commit while we're here. So now we can get back here. Um, and now we need to make this test string. So let's close this, let's close that. And here's our test string. So that can close. To finish building this, okay, so Yeah, I want to build it as a string, I think, as its own thing, um, and not as a call. I'm just, that's kind of the, the method I'm using. And 
I, I don't have pros or cons for that yet. I don't have enough as a sense. So this is just the methodology we're going to use. Um, but so we're building it. And when we build it, it just right now sets it. And that's how we're getting here. So shameless green, straight to the point. Uh, we're going to need to update the date. Uh, so we're going to do hang on a second. Let me, let me make this not uh, oh, nine. So this is going to fail. Whoops. I reran it. This is going to fail. Because our date's different, which is cool. It's what we want. And now we'll verify, maybe. Test pass. Okay, so we got that locked in. And now we should be able to do this and just get it set so that we got something to play with that matches. Make sure that works. That works. And then. We want to add that back in. That's what we want to do. There's our passing test. Um, cool. So now we need two more things. Uh, which I'm just going to grab the month and the day right there since that's what they are. And with luck. Passing test. And just to make sure. Test failed. Our A string is not legit. Do that. Test passing. Okay. So that builds our template date. Finished. Um, yeah, set the date. Build the date. Use the date. I like it. And so now what we can do, hopefully, so I'm not going to test the full template. I could, but like I'm testing all the parts. So this is going to run with today's date. Yeah, I shouldn't. Yeah, so I'm not going to call write md file. Like that's the main. Like that's that's the main thing. So I don't want to call that um when I like unless I'm ready to like go live with it. But so now what we should see again cuz we're live is I'm going to burn this. So this markdown file right now, uh, I don't know if you can see that. How? Well, we could just open it, I guess, would be an easy thing to do. So it's got 2014 um, at noon. So what should happen, because it's the 15th, is when we run this, it exploded. Oh, because I'm not making the date anywhere. Um, so we need to just close that. So we just need to have it happen before that. And now. Hey, 2020, 10, 15. And so that'll make it show up. 
here. So here's the fifth, yeah, October 15th. And then there's October 14th. So that'll actually make it go to the right day. Sweet. Uh, cool, that's that. Um, anything else we need to do there? Still don't know what I want to call it. Yesterday's links? I think yesterday's links is okay, I guess. Oh, but I got to push it forward a day. Yeah, so we're not there yet. Um, uh, we're going to commit that, though. So really what we need is for our template date. And I'm going to do this again, a particular way. So this time we want our string to be the 10th, even though we're putting in the 9th. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that there so I've got the thing, but we want to we wanna do this this way. So there's our pass. So I'm not I'm not going to break green. I'm not going to get one more than one more than one step away from green. Um, and to do that, I'm going to make all new stuff. I'm not going to try and edit the thing because this way I can always hit basically one undo or one comment and I can get back to everything passing. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to do this. And then... We want to have this. You know what? I want to see if there's a different way to do that. So we're green, right? Yep, we're green. Yeah, OK, there's nothing wrong with this. So we can go, we can do it this way, UA. What did I call the first one? Build template date. We don't want uh, that there. And uh, this here. Yeah, okay, this is the better way to do it. Because I'm not... I'm not hard coding something up into the instance variables, which would be potentially easy for it to get, because I've done that before. So I'm going to wait until... Uh, I'm ready for to have that. So I'm, I'm gonna leave this actual sitting in place, but that's fine, the, the stubbed uh, shameless green actual, but I can still set this up and stay. Yeah, so this is gonna break, which is what we want, because we wanna see break, and then we wanna fix. Uh, build template date, E2. And so this will pass. And now is when, yeah, it's kind of two steps. So I'm trying to figure out if there's like a easy, I mean, the easiest thing, right, would be this. So that's going to fail. And because we don't have to declare, we don't actually have to declare that. Whoops. We don't have to declare this. Because it's commented out there, right? Yeah. So we don't actually have to declare that. So this should pass. Yeah. I still want to see. So, yeah, I still want to see it up here, though. Um, I, I need 
more guidance on that. Um, so we're hard coded because we're setting our date to the 9th, but we're hard coding to the 10th. So now we can actually do our work to build to build this out for the 10th. Um, so to start with, I'm just going to attack the easiest stuff that we don't have to mess with, uh, which is self date year. So that's going to pass and let's just break it for real. Okay, there we go. So that's passing. And then we're just steal it right from the one above it. This will give us our month passing. And now we need to do the date math. Um, oops. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have that. Whoops, let me close that. This is the app that's not working. Do I like date time manipulation? Time, date time. Time incident only holds values of time and not a date associated with the time. Very meta. Time deltas, here we go. Time delta. Using replace is not the only way to calculate future past dates. You can use date time to perform basic arithmetic on dates. We have the time delta class. There's a lot of compression in this. Makes the ears hurt a little bit. Um, Date time, time delta. I guess that's off current time. Import today, date time, date today. Got it. Date time. Time deltas today. Okay, here's today minus one day. Okay, so you give it we're gonna do this in a place where we can see it. Oh, all kinds of stuff open there. Look at that. Um, so twenty ten, twenty twelve, one nine. Everybody cool? Yeah, okay, so that's calling it in right. And then one day delta, right? Tomorrow equals initial date plus one day. Print tomorrow. One day is not defined because we changed the name. 
Perfect. There we go. That's how you do it. And I like... So I just want to see both ways that you can do it, right? So tomorrow is the 16th. Cool. Um, initial date plus one. Because it's not really tomorrow. What we want is that. Right. Okay. And then today, uh, one week delta equals that. I think it's weeks, right? I'm just going to assume it's accurate if it is a different number and it doesn't explode. The 8th feels like a week ago. One week ago. Which is really better called. So let's actually put this in our pi date math delta conversions. Eventually, I'm going to have stuff that throws out snippets, um, and that'll be a snippet, because I like it. Uh, save pi date math pi. Uh, cool. So now we can get down to business, now that we know how to do that, with setting the day. So do we already have, we don't have, we have date time date. But we need date time, time delta, right? I think this is how this works. Right, because we're calling the thing. I come down here and run all the tests, all the tests, all the tests. Fire dancer needs to go. Sorry, fire dancer. Yeah, whatever. Seems like this song always comes up whenever I delete another song. Like it's, and it's called Peacefully. So it's like, peacefully, we murdered the song. Not in the mood right now either. I've heard all these songs so many times. I gotta get new copyright free music. Um, so, one day delta equals date time. Well, oh, actually, do we just do time delta? 
Does that work? It does. So if we just add that to our date, that passes. And we actually want to make sure to use it here because during the December 31st, this year would be wrong if we just use date. So we need to use it everywhere. Um, so let's start with this. That's working. That's working. What are the odds? And it's lowercase d. There we go. And so now, because we changed that, I gotta figure out like, what's the best way? I mean, I guess we should just start using that and then drop the other one, right? There's no reason there's like only the one test and the one thing using it. Um, and like it's got a different functionality. So it seems like it should be versioned, right? And, and moved up. So, um, so we've got it. So we're going to use it. We did set the variable up here, right? Template date v2. Yeah. I guess, yeah, I guess one of the things you could do is use getters and setters. But that feels a little, I don't know. I'm still getting my head around this stuff. So yesterday's links, so we're in October 15th. When we run this file now, it will make a file for October 16th which it didn't output to. Oh, because we're probably not doing that path yet. Um, it did not work. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta set the date in a few different places. We gotta set the date everywhere. Oh, it blew up. Wait a minute, how did it blow up? Now I'm super confused. All right, we're gonna back that out. So that's there. We're setting it. Oh, we're not calling this. So this is gonna put it in in the file, but it's still, I do that a lot. So you should see the date in the file now, but the directory is not 1010. That is wrong. Possibly because I put the, wait a minute. How did that happen? Aha. Oh, because it was hard coded. That's why it passed, because it was hard coded. I got you. We didn't drop that in. I don't know of a good way around that. I mean, you could have another, you could have two tests that give you two different dates or whatever. Um, 1016. There we go. So it's still writing the file in a directory for 1015. So I definitely want to change that. But I want to but I do want to store the JSON in the day that it happened. So 
This is good. This is not. It's not awful because I want I want this date and this string here in the directory structure to match the date in the file. So before we do that, got it. Uh. Yeah, you can see you're starting to see more stuff creep in as we progress through it. Um, all right, but before we do that, let's get rid of this one that we don't need. And this one that we don't need. Make sure this is all still green. Six passes and oh, okay, there it is. I don't know what the best way to do that stuff is. But I mean, it's cool, we're green. Uh, okay, so now what we need to do is set the output path here, which is MD file path, which is, oh, I should have called it V2. Yeah, see, I overwrote the existing one even though I was doing a V2. That's that's bad. That's horrible naming confusion is what that is. Um, And so I could, so I could raise this up to a level of abstraction, um, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have some duplication in here, but I'm okay with that because I want to get to functionality first um, before I worry about trying to reduce duplication. Because it may be that I'm fine with the duplication. Um, it's not, you know, the most elegant code in the world, but like there's cost analysis, right? Cost benefit. If it, if I keep working on it, sure. But like, we'll see. Um, so we're gonna, we need to make a new markdown file path and we're actually gonna call this one three and then name this three so that it actually lines up. Uh, set. Set markdown, set MD. So that's gonna go here. If I was smart, I would do this. Oh, got a double thing in there. All right, so just test, make sure we're cool. Um, and we already know a little bit about what we wanna have happen. So, quick brown path and then the directory structure we want daily links with all this jazz so 2032 01 09 run to make sure it bombs whoa it passed that's bad how is it passing? I don't get that. I do not get that. What the hell? So it says it's passing test set MD file path v2. If I name it v3, is there already a v2 down here somewhere? Nope. I don't get it. I don't get it. 
whatever. It's doing it now. That makes me a little bit anxious, though. Why is it right up there? Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, so there's there's our target. And then we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to go ahead and set the date. So this should still run. And then we'll put this here. No, so we need to run it first. So leave that there, do this, UA, oops, set MD file path V3. So this is gonna blow up, good. Now it'll pass, good. And then we're gonna come down here and do actual equals UA MD file path V3. And this is gonna blow up until we put this here. And now it should be okay, good. So we can clean this up. And now we can do the work. I don't know why I expect it as high. Okay, there we go, whatever. Yeah, this is, okay, I'm good with this. Uh, so we know that we need to have one day delta time delta days equals one still passing tomorrow uh self date plus one day delta i gotta work yep so we're gonna format that We're gonna see if tomorrow.year works. It does. One of these days I'm gonna remember STRF time, STRF time. Hang on. Uh, set JSON path, right? STRF time, yeah. Oh, well, that was helpful. Uh, format is month and day. So there's our year. Here's our month. We're going to see if we can hit it on the first try. We cannot. Oh, right. Our test is wrong. Needs to be for the 10th. No. 9th. We're expecting it on the 10th. Gotta get the logic on the test right first. There we go. All of our tests pass. So now... We need to do this. Run, whoops. So that's three. And so we wanna use this for our output now. That feels right. Wah -wah. No such file or directory data links. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, aha, we gotta, we gotta build the directories properly first.
permission to slide for quick. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. See what happened? Oh, I'm not doing the router. Ah. Got it. Yeah, see. Because what you'll see, yeah. We need this. But I th don't think that's set. So this should bomb, I think. Yeah, because it's missing the first part of it. So we got to set... This. Still failed. One of these days I'm going to get that right. That's passing. That's passing. That wrote some code. There's the 16th. And for the 16th, yesterday's links. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, I like it. Because that's going to give me... So, and the... Let's just burn that. And burn that and just run it straight one time. Yeah, it's going to keep updating. Cool. And so that should now be the first thing up here. Whoop. Why does that say the 15th? Live coding. Oh, maybe Hugo doesn't do future? Future flag. Basic usage. Draft future expired content. I'm gonna guess you throw it. Build future. F build future. Cause right now when I run it, I only run um drafts. S E R V E D F. There it is. Uh, we have two of them, apparently. Oh, because we updated... Yeah, because when I was running it, this one for the 15th got updated with the date first. I'll fix that later. I need to think my way through that and which day goes where, because I want to move the links from the 14th and the 15th, redrop the 15th, in so it shows up in the 16th okay i got that we don't need to do it on stream uh sweet so now we can get rid of this nope this close that it's all closed yeah uh this this goes away. Let's so run all our tests. Nope, I killed one. What's going on? Line 72. What did I delete a second ago? Build template. Mm, that was not the right thing to delete. Like, I don't have a good way to brace against that. Um, I guess maybe there's test coverage stuff. 
Let's see if PyCharm has test coverage in it. Running with coverage. The page is not covered. Are we still alive? Now we're still alive. Ah, cookies, I get it. We're just scanning here. Oh, here we go. Include coverage data. When done, PyCharm is a full report of test run, including coverage data. Okay, we need to go read the rest of that. What code coverage is and how you can use the software deployment, development, whatever. This is essential for any software written in any language. I've already covered how PyCharm helps you write clean, quality, maintainable code. I'll we'll actually read that at some point. As well as tests. There's Graph Runner. Basically, everything is quick and simple. I like the quick and simple. To collect coverage statistics, all you need to do is have your code in PyCharm. Have the project Python interpreter specified in project settings, and have one or several run one or several in config, preferably including some configurations for tests. Project open in PyCharm. Project contains some tests, which are run by the nose testing framework. I don't think ours are. We're doing unit tests. It's probably OK. I define the test configuration in PyCharm by clicking Edit Configurations here. After that, I specify my new nose test run configuration in the dialog. So now I'm going to run the code using this configuration in different modes, including simple run, debug, profiler, and especially run with coverage. Feels like it took a jump there that I missed. Run, edit configurations. So Python interpreter, project default, that's the one for this, cancel, I don't know what I just did. Tests, unit tests, pi tests, nose tests, environment. Run. Debugging actions now. This doesn't make sense. Python interpreter. After that, I specify a new nose run configuration in the dialog. OK, yeah, got that. Environment, those are checked. There's not a, I don't have that. Generate. I don't know 
what that just did. Show context actions. No context. Paste, copy, plus refactor. Folding. Oh, there's your expand all. Does that work? Yeah, okay. Collapse all. Ooh, wow. Yeah, that was no joke to the class. R run. Edit. Here, we'll edit it, but that's just the same thing, right? Yeah. Uh... When was this posted? 2015. Okay. PyCharm 2022 help. Okay. Dedicated action. Code coverage data is processed according to the options selected in the coverage page of settings. Let's look at that. We don't have a coverage page. Uh, do one of the f run with code coverage. Open the desired file. Choose run name with coverage in the context menu. PyCharm provides a dedicated action that allows you to perform run with code coverage measurement. The code coverage data is processed according to the option selected on the coverage page of the settings preferences dialog. Control Alt S. None of those work. What is this? It also doesn't, this page has no formatting on it, which makes me think, who knows. June 26, 2020, okay. Build extra, I don't know how to click a wrench. I don't have a wrench. Um, PyCharm preferences, build execution and deployment. Okay, so here's preferences. Build execution and deployment. Coverage. There is not a coverage there. Build execution deployment. Build tools. No required plugins. What's in here? Am I an old version? 2022.1. 2022, okay. Check for updates. That's cool. Don't know about that. I think it's up to date. to figure out coverage. I don't know if that, if I really need time to that. Viewing coverage results in PyCharm. Does PyCharm work without the internet? This is a feature of professional PryCharm. Ah ha. 
Doing code coverage helps detect speed through code. Okay. I bet that's what's going on. Community. I bet that's what it is. Uh, code coverage with PyCharm. That's from the 15th. Surprised this I got to this page with no formatting. Something worked on their side. Whoops. Which I gotta recognize. Okay, well, I need that. Whoa. Your track at Japan. That's very trippy. That's what that is. Yeah. So that's a pro feature, that's what that is. That's why I don't have it. Coming and then whatever, uh, how much is it? Oh, it's a subscription, whoa. Per user, first year, second year, 159, third year onwards. Good lord. Well, I mean, it's a solid thing. I'm really impressed that it's also free. Where is the uh, for individual use? Oh, okay. Is that different? I, subscriptions. I just... Purchase terms, contract, jet brains, jet brains. Where is the uh, compare? I don't have it. Features. Okay, whatever. I tried. Um, I don't know if I get work to pay for it. I'll get work to pay for it because that'd be cool. Only if the Python plugin is enabled. Use the bundled PyScript. If disabled, PyCharm will use coverage tool included in the selected Python interpreter. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with that. That whatever. Um, yeah, we'll just put it down here. How about this? See, this is one of those things like spending a lot of time on this, but I don't have that tooling set up. So, but it would be a one-time thing to get it set up. So even though it takes a long time now while I'm working on this thing, that's fine. It's the equivalent of a uh, teach somebody to fish. Uh, but what are we gonna do now? So we've got, no, let's do this. Is Twitter back online? say him. Uh, is it alive? Hey, it worked. What was that? Uh, oh, I want to leave these links open. Forgot about that. Um, all right, so we've got it building out. Where am I going? Right here. Uh, oh, it collapsed all that. Nope, that collapsed all this. Why is there a dot there or an arrow there? I don't know. Um, 
so now we need to get it to read a config. Uh, so how do I want to do that? Um, or I'm under the point, do I need to like set up a test for that? Um, Cause it's really just reading the file system and loading a JSON object. Um, so I don't, I'm just kind of going to put that in here. Um, Would you combine two JSON? Okay, so to start with, we're just gonna do one. Uh, no, we're gonna tell it to do two, um, and just have the. I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, uh, what are we gonna call this? What do we wanna call this when we're Exclude patterns. Yeah, to start with, we'll just do one. Um, now, this is funny because if I wasn't streaming, uh, I wouldn't have to worry about this. But because I'm work because I stream, you know, there's again stuff that I don't want to have in the visible configs. Um, that by and large wouldn't matter, but it's just you know, practice. Upsec. Whatever. Um, I mean that's what it is, but like, whatever. All right, so we got those. So we're just gonna do this PWC config JSON. Actually, I guess we're gonna do file paths equals an array or list, whatever Python calls it, sorry. Configs. So I'm just going to keep running the thing. Um, again, maybe not the best way to do it, but I guess, yeah, I guess you could set up because it's messing with the file path and it's loading some objects and it's loading two, but ah, I'm I'm okay with this now. Um, In file paths, print file path, just to make sure we got it. There we go. Uh, read from JSON file. We've already got JSON in here, don't we? We do. Um, with open file path read as json config right json data or er, 
config file. JSON config equals JSON load config file print JSON config Whoops. No. Try that. Exclude patterns. There we go. Two arrays. Nothing in them. Um, lists. Got it. One of these days I'll get that right. Uh, so here we'll start with this one. So how do we want to pass regular expressions is the question. Well, so um, right now, okay, let's just finish getting the, the data in. So um, actually, let's do this, maybe C, D, E. make that a list so for exclude pattern in here you append a list right Is that gonna blow up? Did not blow up. I love autocomplete. So empty list. Uh, I'm just gonna do, oh, actually, no. Where is it? Um, so here's one of them, which we're going to have docsgoogle.com. Actually, let's do this uh, launchpad. local host. So we should see both of those things in there. Yeah, we probably could have set up some tests for this, but there we go. So we got both of them in there. Um, sweet. Okay. So now what we want to do is, so we've got our exclude patterns. Um, I'm just trying to think how we're gonna use those. So, oh, actually, let's do this. Oh, that's in the wrong place. Oh, there we go. And we're also only not loading the full config. We're explicitly loading the, the parts that we want, which I like. Uh, so make markdown test build MD link. Build template data set objects. Because how? So I, eventually I'll put all the rest of the stuff in there too, but I'm, like, I'm not worried about that right now. So load configs. So we got our configs. Whoops. We set our markdown route. We'll put that in the config in a minute. Um, so 
set the JSON path. We'll put that in the config. So set mark down file path, load the JSONs, which is the existing JSON, get OSA script, set object data from OSA script. This is where we're going to want to do it. Because this goes through and pushes in. It looks at every line that comes back and it pushes the data in and then goes to the next line. But so this is doing the line by line. So this is where we're going to want to apply the pattern to watch for. Is that called new? Let's say script data string new. Whoops. Wrong. No, oh, everything collapsed. Expected. Let's say script string. Yeah, see, this isn't actually called new. And I'm going to start using Vs. So here's one that we're actually, the signature is going to change and, we, and we're going to have, we're actually going to use a different style of test or different test methodology, methodology. Set object data from OSA string. So we're going to do this. Def, test that. Dev. Uh, you know what I should have done is this, 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 Oh, come here. All right. Test. Test run. So what we're going to want out of this is the object data with a URL and a title. But we only want one. So just make sure there's an explosion. There we go. And we don't need to prep anything. So now what we can actually do is, though we do need to make actual, ah, yeah, see, that's where, I get turned around a little bit. So UA, we're gonna do this. How do you pass, how are we passing that in? Uh, okay, we can work about that in a minute. Um, this is gonna explode. Now it'll pass. Object data dev. Which is going to explode. We can do this to make it pass. Oops. Yep. Everybody's still passing. Everybody's passing. So we can drop that. And now OSA script string. So this is what we're going to send in. Locked up. Hmm. That happens a lot. And I rebooted today. It happens at night using PyCharm. We're gonna quit it. Hopefully it'll come back in a minute. 
and then we can quit PyCharm and then launch it again. Because it... I kind of don't want to keep activity or console or activity monitor going because it burns resources. Or activity monitor you can keep going, but console gets a little, takes a lot of CPU power itself. So I don't like doing that as much. Um, can't do anything. Um, because it's come back in the past, I don't want to like hard rocket right now. Um, because that's less good. I keep thinking, ooh, I'll go do something while it's slow, but that's not gonna happen. Uh, so anyways, I'm enjoying the stream. I'm enjoying streaming. Uh, soon I'll be working on a vlog that I've been recording for a year and uh, I'll be posting those. So that'll be cool. Uh, oh, nothing's happening. The, yeah, it's like, it may be like lock lock. Let's say we give it 10 more seconds and then we fire away. Uh, Cause hopefully most of that stuff should have saved. Um, yeah, all right. Bye-bye. I hope. There it goes. Oh, my shoulder's out. Just look at that. That's where the edge of the frame is. Two, three, four, five. It's good that my... I'm streaming on a different PC, I guess. All right, I'm actually gonna hide the screen for a minute because I don't know what all it's gonna do when it comes up. Um, oh, you can see just a little bit of, uh, it's hard to do, the green screen, I'm missing it right there. All right. It's a bootin', it's a boot time. This is the waiting part of the game where we wait for the computer to come up and see what happens. Uh, in other news, I'm getting a different boom arm because I will hopefully stop running into this one as much. Also, I realize I should stay closer to the mic uh, as we do this. Um, but that's a thing I'm working on. That's practice. I it's also sitting up straighter. It's nice. So, uh, Let's see. All right, I'm starting to see stuff on this screen again. That's good. Uh, it's still the logo and the spinning beach ball. So hopefully that will go away and become an actual machine of stuff happening. There's a progress bar that nothing's progressed, progressed on. So it's a little disconcerting. Oh, it is funny though. I've got bars, bars going. I could have the tone going too for bars and tone. That's more apropos than I realized. Yeah, I get a little nervous about this beach ball. It's such a happy little icon for your computer possibly catching on fire. Uh, five, five years old. Like, it seems like it still should be fine, but it has been crashing every now and then, so. But that's probably just cruft of like five years worth of cruft, right? Oh, it went from a beach ball to an arrow. I got a pointer. This is riveting, riveting stream. Riveting stream. Uh, oh, progress bar. And some windows. It's doing all kinds of thinking right now. Yep, just uh, hanging out. 
The mouse is moving though. That's good. We alive? We're alive. All right. All right. Let me just do a little clean up here. Make sure everything's cool. that going yeah that's cool that's cool everything's looking okay here oh i kept my tabs that's nice chrome not so much oh wait restore there we go restore nice uh maybe all it's alive High charms alive, all the files closed. All right, I think we're okay. Uh oh, we're gonna start that again. There we go. All right, the song is not gonna last. I mean, it's gonna last forever is what it is. Oh, I tried to take this out the other day and it's not in there. Got it. Goodbye. Oh yeah, I can turn it down on my headphones a little bit because it's kind of loud there. I forgot about that. That's better. That's better. So where did it explode? Um indexing Ooh, it's freaked out about everything okay cool uh how are tests doing tests are passing so this is what we were working on right here i'm gonna go ahead and collapse the rest of these oh most of them are collapsed that's nice Yeah, so this is where, when we copied this, everything exploded. Because we're, so we've got the expected. That's the string we're gonna pass in. But in this case, what we're gonna pass in is ah. This is gonna be a little tricky. localhost 1313. So we should still pass, because all we're doing right now, uh, file pass. With this is we're just straight returning. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to copy the existing code because I want to, I'm duplicating the same thing here. Um, it's still going to pass, whoops, especially if I call the right thing. Here's where it's going to break. So we're going to go back to green here and now we're going to try and fix this. So if we're What we're trying to do is if the line right here is if part zero, which is the URL, matches localhost, we're gonna we're gonna bail. Uh, I'm gonna keep this down here for the overwrite right now. We'll work on this. Actually, no. So we can we can leave this. Because we've got we've got a backup copy of this stuff up here, which is the other reason that we're we're moving this down. 
Um, so our goal is to get this to pass. Um, and we can leave it we can leave it in red while we're doing this work because that's the only thing that we're working on. And we've got the backup that we can always get back to. So um, Pi reg X. So still didn't do that. Um, So pattern search date. There's a different way to do that though. Hang on, I wanna look at another thing. I've got another. There's my Safari URL puller because I do this in there and I wanna see the way that I did it. Because we're gonna do the same thing. to look at some pages yeah so if regular expression yeah so this is I need to get this up here So we're just going to throw this into Code Runner and make sure we got it right. Localhost. Not localhost. Okay. I just, I, I've had to go look up the regular expressions pattern so many times. And like, I, I keep forgetting, like, this is the easy way to do it. Like, I just want to like throw a pattern at it, throw a, thing at it and get a response yay or nay um and you can do the i think you can do the matching stuff there too but this is that's what i need for right now so that's what we're gonna do um so we can close this one back out so if re search that pattern so if localhost is in here then continue test failed re is not defined we should define re import re whoops oh okay ran the right thing Uh, object data dev. Oh, actually, I can I can do this here. I can do that into the same thing because I'm just I'm just writing back to that same location, which is where we want stuff to go. So I'm just calling a different method to do it. So that's cool. Okay, I like this. This is good. 
So now what's gonna happen? Still gonna fail, but why are we failing? Title two, so expected. Example is not equal to the actual. So the actual didn't get updated. I put that in load configs. No, okay. Why did I get up there? Load JSON. Everything opened. What's going on? Am I hallucinating? So that's version one. Here's version two. So let's. We just made a change, but it didn't work. So now I want to get back to green real quick and just test. Still failed. Expected example. Oh, I gotcha. Wait a minute, how is that getting set? Something's wrong. See, when I'm setting this, calling that, there shouldn't be anything in here. Let me back up for a second. Okay, so there's green. That's failing. Expected actual. OSA script string. So it's passing this and it's getting parsed. Wait a minute, is this that? Yeah, okay, so it is it is using this data. OSA script string. But how is that? Oh, 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 because it's, it is doing this and then, so it is setting object data parts, gotcha. Now I'm gonna overwrite it. Now we should be green. Okay, I understand what's going on. Um. Good thing I left that there. That was nice to have. I'm gonna leave that there till we're all the way done. It seems like a good idea. So the question, okay, yeah. So now I can back this out, run this. And for some reason it didn't jump. Object data parts one equals part zero. Line split. Oh, I think it comes title URL. What's that gonna do? Nope. Oh, we just got different. Yeah. What we want here is title one. Actually, I want it here too. We'll just fix it now. Passing. Okay. So that is our logic. And so now, oh yeah, so we don't actually need to know the, load the config. All we need to do is set up a list at the config level. Um that goes through and makes these adjustments for us or makes these kicks for us. And so, okay, so let's, let's do the basics of that, which is, so there's our OA script string. Before that, we're gonna have UA exclude patterns equals Launchpad localhost. And then for exclude pattern in self, 
Why am I not getting... What's going on? Why didn't it auto doing the thing for me? Oh, in. There we go. <laughs> the not syntax highlighting showed me what was going on or showed me a problem. Um, Okay, for each one of those, let's just do this. See if we're still green. Nope. I would have expected that to work. So we're passing it, we're hitting it, and we're doing the search. Why isn't that, oh, because it's continuing this one, not this one. Um, do we have named loops in Python? Oh, well, my Safari windows were open. Whoop. There we are. See what that gets us. Continuing next interlation and outer loop. Hello. In a general case, when you have multiple levels of looping and break does not work for you because you want to continue the upper loop, not the inner one, you can do one of the following. Okay. Continue loop i. If something continues by. This is, I don't understand what's going on here. Refactor the loops you want to escape from into a function. Disadvantage is you may need to pass a new function some variables, which were previously in scope. Or you can define inner as a nested function and let it capture what it needs. Maybe slower? Philosophically, this is what exceptions are for. Breaking the program flow through the structured programming building blocks, if for a while, when necessary. The advantage is you don't have to break a single piece of code into multiple parts. Bad thing is this approach is that in the interpreter, compiler, authors usually assume that exceptions are exceptional and optimize for them accordingly. I create a special exception class for this so that you don't accidentally silence some other exception. Something else entirely. I'm sure there's still other solutions. Uh huh, that's funny. Uh, 73. How about 154? Let's see what we got going on down here. For or I in range, for JJ in range. Something, if something break, else block. Break will break the inner loop, and block one will, won't be executed. It will run only if the inner loop is exited normally. Oh, okay, 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 wait, 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 I may have that. That breaks this loop. It's supposed to, okay, so that should break this loop. If it if it if that matches, it breaks, and it should go back up here and split the next line. Why didn't that work? All right, we're gonna back up for a second. Let's 
See, this is... What the hell was that? These hotkeys make me nervous. All right, hang on. We're just gonna get we're gonna get all the way back to green for a second. We got we got far away from green. We're gonna run the wrong page. We're gonna run the right page. Ooh, busted. What's going on? Oh. Oh, because we changed this. We need to change that in the hard code. Okay, we're green again. We are passing the right stuff, right? So for the pattern search, I don't care about the exclude pattern. Like this... Just make sure this works. So hang on a second. So this works because we're hard coded. This works not hard coded. And like if we do that, it should break again because we don't hit the mix. We don't hit the match. So that works. Oh, wait, 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 I may have it, I may have it. So if... No, because we want to we wanna do the next one without doing this. We need to continue for the outer loop. Because that break breaks this. But then it falls back... That track is so messed up, it just dies right in the middle. Um, yeah, we don't need to break this loop. We need to break this loop or, con or continue it. So I could do that loop, but this is getting like the loop and the loop is kind of messing with me a little bit. So I think I'm actually going to break this out. So let's get green. Because really what I want I'm just trying to figure out where the best place to do this parsing is. Because what you could do, like I'm, I'm doing two filters at the same time. I'm, I'm going through and I'm doing the split while I'm going through it. But then I'm doing the filter. And like I could... Because you could split this out and have, and have it make another call on... the line and see if it returns anything. Yeah, because a loop and a loop feels weird. Um, but it's still, like, that's still tightly coupling, though, if you do that. Um, This is tightly coupled. This is not the best. Um, What, see, what's the right way to do that? So, because you can burn through the for loop. 
and then like you're doing logic here, and then there's another set of logic that you need to be doing, and that feels like those should be two separate things, but maybe not because it's all one process. If I could just if I could just make this jump and do that, so okay, let's let's do that. Let's get that working to start with because I think we can make that happen. So we're green there. We need to drop this in somehow. So let's figure out how to do one of those outer loop ones. Break will break the inner loop and block one won't be executed. It will only run if the inner loop is exited normally. So if we put that in else, But I need to loop. But I need the I need the if statement to be the loop. So like the first time through this might break and if you got to an else it would update it. And then it would loop again. It, yeah, that's not going to work for here. Um, so this works, right? Yeah, OK. Can't believe I don't think of moving the second loop to another method, right? You can define inner as a nested function and let it just capture what it needs, maybe slower. For i inner. Okay. Uh, so for. For i in. Okay. <laughs> so now we're gonna copy and whoops. I mean, we've already got a copy, but I want to have another one just to back up to if we need it to real quick for here. So this is working. And actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this work for now. Oh, actually no. Yeah, let's see if we can keep this green. I mean, like my goal is to try and keep this green. Um, which we can always come back here and do. I'm just, I, now I'm trying to think about like what a, what a good way to do that is. So let's try this. No, it's gonna be down there. Never mind. Uh, but we'll put it here so we can get close to it. Okay. So if length equals two, how, okay. So we're to define inner. This should still pass. Nothing happened. Why did nothing happen? Oh, because continue isn't actually in a for loop. Right? Is that what happened? Test failed. Oh, because we didn't actually rip it out.
if search parts one. Pass, else, do this. This is going to fail because there's not going to be anything in there. Right? Because we're not, call yeah, it's empty because we're not calling it. But if we call enter here, we passed because I'm, I'm just, there's only two things going in and I'm just assigning one of them back. So, see the trick is I need to loop over. I need the if statement to be the loop. All right, this is a mess. This is, that's just too messy. Um, I'm gonna comment all this code for a minute because I want to make a new a new thing that is just uh, what am I gonna call it? Test. Return cleansed string. T L E A N S C D cleansed, cleansed. How do you spell cleansed? C L E oh E A. Okay. Oh, actually, one of these days. All right, so what do we want to have happen here? So that we need to have a couple things happen. I'm trying to get my head around this. I think I'm just going to start throwing some code at some tests and seeing what happens. So we want to have an expected string that comes back empty. So we're going to have an expected string that comes back empty. We're actually, this one we're actually going to pass to. So UA cleanse string. All right, I was, I'm thinking too far ahead. So this is gonna explode. Now it'll work. Then we can actually just do return null. That'll work. We can get rid of that. So what do we want to pass it? So we want to pass it the parts. Um, This is going to blow up because we don't have a name thing. Now 
Now it should pass. Well, so I guess the first thing we want to do is we want to get some that that actually work or that actually have We need this function to do a few different things. So now we're just going to flat return this. Uh, line, whatever. Passed. Okay. Cleansed. Make cleansed line. Cleanse line. No. Uh, Cleanse. No. Make. Cleanse line. We're just going to blow up again because it's different. Still working? Got it. Okay. If I want that in its own variable. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so now we can just get this working. This will be better, because we can just loop through, send it, send it to this, and then send it back. Um and we'll probably drop the test on that other one, because like all the work is being done here. Zero. I think I got this backwards. I need to look at this in a second. Test failed. Test passed. Actually, I want to name those. Um, We get slightly away from green here, but that's okay. Um, actually, no, it should be this way. URL equals our URL title. Let's do it for real. Title URL URL. Title, title, drop parts. It's gonna explode. I was using parts earlier and like was confused by it and recognized, hey, you know what? Names are a good thing. We're gonna work. Yeah. Okay, so that's the basic. That's just input output. Now, def test here. Well, da, da, da. Halfway remembered. Make cleanse line exclude. So expected is nothing, actual is nothing. Run the test, make sure we got it. So, now's when we might need to make a second method. I'm gonna make a second method. with the same, because this way I get to, 
uh, I get to play with this one without having to mess with the other one. Like I can keep that test screen. So, whoops, definitely ran the wrong thing. Green, okay. And so actual, make cleanse line dev. And then just to start with, we're gonna do this and we're gonna do this. Should pass, yep. And so now we get to work with this. Because really what we want to do is if re search uh, localhost URL return nothing. So that's going to pass. And then we can actually put this down here. So now we should actually be able to put this. So that, that gave us a green test or a way to test for green, being green. So if I put this here, whoops, we're still green. So we didn't screw this up. And now if we call this one, It's all green, so we can take that out. So that just gives us a safe way to test. Uh, and we're gonna do that one more time with the dev line. Um, Cause now what we wanna do is exclude patterns equals localhost and we're going to put two in there just so we've got something to scroll past still good because we're not doing anything so now for exclude pattern in self Exclude patterns. We're just gonna look at our exclude patterns. You see them? Yep, there we go. If we do that, whoops, tab. We're gonna return. Uh, sorry. If we match the exclude pattern, we're gonna return. Otherwise, we're do our line, which we're not testing that yet. Okay, so that works. So now we should be able to put all this code here. Still works. That's it. That's our exclude patterns. Right? Yeah, so you just look, loop over the exclude patterns. If you hit one, you return nothing. If you make it all the way through all the loops, you format the line and then you send it back. That's pretty cool. It's also five lines, which is Sandy Metz's thing. Uh, so it's cool. Okay, so that I don't think we need to test anything else out there, right? For the cleanse line. Yeah, so 
the other thing that I want to do is some manipulation of the titles, but I don't want to try and do that here. This is good. So I'll take this and then I can pass that to another function, which is format lines or do something. I don't know what it is, but this is cool. Um, actually, so let's use this. So I'm going to get rid of this. This we're still going to, oh, wait a minute, we we're calling dev there. Hang on. Make sure we call it for real. There's another way to actually pass the call down, which is what I should have done. But if this works, all eight passed. Okay, and now we should be able to get rid of this. Everything runs. We're keeping this test though, because that tests the, the exclude pattern run that makes sure that nothing's there. Um, yeah, we're passing a URL, we're passing a title, we're excluding it, we're getting nothing back. Sweet, okay. Yeah, so that's that's one where we actually needed two tests to te test a method because we need two different things to come back from it, either a string formatted or a nothing from it. Um, Load configs. Uh, okay, so set object data from us a script. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. We might have goofed. Because that's making the line. Because this is just setting the object data. Oh, I didn't think through that. Might still be able to use this. Actually, we'll still be able to use it. Get OSA script string. Load configs, make markdown. Yeah, see, this goes through make markdown string. Markdown string equals format, markdown build blank, URL item. So this, yeah, so we need to filter, oh, we need to filter the data. We're not making the strings. Um, ah, crap, okay, so we're going through the line. So one way to do this would be just to load it and then to cleanse it. That probably makes the most sense. Instead of trying to do it at the same time. I mean, you could do it, filter, like how would you, but how do you do that, the exclude pattern stuff? Well, I mean, that other thing was talking about making a separate for loop, so we're gonna make a separate for loop. Um, Test make markdown. I'm gonna reorder these in a second. Um, whoops, that was weird. What does D do? I don't know why D's. There's V had 10. Weird, okay. Beats me. Uh, uh, toolkit, URL grabber. Yeah, so I guess this makes sense. We can just 
we can just kind of cleanse the data. Uh, here, we're gonna do this. That's a make. JJKL in make. Uh oh, what has happened? Where'd it go? I don't like that. It kind of freaked me out. Oh, it's putting it underneath. Ah, I hate that. Uh, B, B, so these are both S's. Are they in the right order? Yes, they are. Nope. Watching out of my test work now. Eight. Okay, that's good. Uh, M and OP cross T. Make cleanse, basic exclude, make MD. S. M. S. M. O. Okay. Actually. While we're doing that, how are these looking? Whoops. I feel like these probably could use some help too. Uh, MP. Looking for HHKL uh, make, uh, what was it? Cleanse line. See that one, it didn't kick under. A, B, C, F, G, H, H, K, L, M, P, Q, R, S. Maybe if you capture the, capture, the, capture the empty line above it? I don't know. Whatever. So we're going to load the data, and then after we load the data, we're going to clean the data. That makes a tremendous amount of sense. So so but we're going to do multiple passes potentially over the data. So. Um, clean data, remove, excludes. Because I think I should be clean data, do title stuff or whatever, but like, I want it having its own thing. Guess what we didn't do. Cool. So expected is going to be an object that looks like that. We run it, it's going to fail. Cool, cool. Except for the, you know, that part. Got it. And then, so that's going to be sitting in our object, 
or object data, which is not a good name for it, but so that's going to fail. So we're going to back up and we're going to run this, which is going to fail because that doesn't exist, but we can fix that real quick here. Uh, let's just do pass actually. Whoa, what was that? How'd that happen? So that's gonna pass. Now we do this, right? Let me do this. And we pass, got it. What we're gonna start with Uh, let's get this out of there. Object data equals This is a better way to do this. So this will still pass because we're just immediately overwriting it here. But now we've got our now we got our structure. Now we can do our work. And so first piece of work we do is Well, I guess we want to make a new object. I'm just going to do kind of whatever I think works here cuz we just need to get to this. So new object equals this and then pass it. Right. And so now for item in self object data, uh, we're going to do this. Uh, So we're just gonna we're just gonna reproduce it to start with. And if we turn this off, I think this is gonna fail because I think we're sending two things in here. We are. So now we want to make that green, and we do that by saying if regular expression search localhost is an item. Uh, let's make this URL. I shouldn't have made that change at the same time. I'm not going to make that change at the same time. Uh, no. So if it, oh, again, we're stuck in this thing where I need to loop over. Oh, I guess you just break. else that nope oh we got nothing for item oh continue we don't want to break Continue, okay, so this would, this is gonna continue if it hits. So we're looping, I'm just, I could bounce around a few times and figure out the logic or have it go, but I wanna see if I can figure it out in my head before I actually run it. So we're looping through all the items. If we match an exclude pattern,
we want to skip that one. We're going to be in two loops again. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same thing. Uh, it's just we're working with data instead of the lines. All right. So I should put that there probably. Um, maybe there. I'm out of drink. I got some water. Uh, so, well, what you could do is you could fire this. I want to see if I can figure this out. I mean, like, without firing it over to another method. Like... Except, is this getting? No, I mean the whole point of this is to is to do the processing. So you got to do the processing somewhere. So we're looping through the lines, and then we need to loop through the for. Well, so let's do this just to have it. Uh. Oh wait, actually, do we already set clean roof data? We're gonna need this anyways, so. Nope. Are you N C H what? I don't know why that failed. We're gonna make it go green here real, uh, real quick though, I think. No, we broke something for real. Okay. Ah, here we go. That's why we have that one to fall back to. I don't know how that worked because that was outside the for loop. Oh, it got lucky, I guess, and picked up the last iteration. I want to get a for loop that works here to start with that. If search, okay, hang on, let's do this. If search localhost. Why did that work? Oh, because continue pulled it. No. See, now I'm in a mess. Nothing. So it's not adding.
That was working just a minute ago. Oh, I see. How about that? Here we go. All right, so we're gonna move this up as working code for this particular test. It's not great, but now I wanna see if we can figure this out. So this will work again. I'm gonna leave that there because we're just overriding it with this. Oh, you could do, what if you reverse the loops? So, well, let's, I wanna, I wanna, no, I'm gonna try reversing the loops. Pattern and those patterns. All right, we're gonna let this come back to life for a minute. Cause right now I'm just, oh, except for not. Oh, it's gotta have a pass or something. Right now I just wanna see if I can get a function working here. Um, so for pattern and patterns, Now it's still gonna it's still gonna break it. I mean it's still gotta You gotta break that top loop. Um Right, if item or if re search pattern item print here. All right, which should be local. This should say localized because that's where we're hidden. Localized. So if we see that, so what you could do is should still show us localhost. No, did not. Oh, we're not calling it. Get rid of that. Okay, I got a way that we can do this. So hang on, uh, if we match return false, actually let's call this exclude Item. True. I don't know why I 
put that in double friends. Probably because that needed to be there. So we should get a true and then a none. Okay. So we're gonna loop through all of those and if we don't hit anything, we're gonna do that. Got it, okay. That's how you do it. This was a tricky piece of code right here. I'm trying to figure out if Yeah, you really should break this out to its own thing. But this, I had to see it this way before we got there. So we'll we'll do this to start with. Um, and this gets you, I mean, otherwise you're just looping through a for loop I mean, you still just need this as the response. So yeah, I actually don't know that it makes sense to break it out to a, a specific other thing. Um, so now, if not exclude item, print item, so this should not be localhost. Should be whatever the other one is. Example. Oh, it didn't do anything. Oh, there it is. Got it. So new object. item equals that item. And hopefully, boom. <sighs> wow, that one was tough. Uh, all right, let's get all this stuff done. Exclude item. We're looping through the patterns. If we hit a pattern, we're excluding it, so we're turning true. Um, Actually, let's let's do it. I like inclusion better. Ah, biffed it somewhere. See, this is a little bit long for a method. That's pretty long for a method, but I am okay with it right now. Uh, what are we going to? That's yesterday's links. Is that should answer today? Stream answer today? Yeah.
that's worth hanging on to. Um, pi. Uh, loop. Regex. Include. Exclude. This thing's proven to be a really interesting project. Um, okay, so we're cleaning our data by looking at our exclude patterns. And if something hits our exclude pattern, we're bouncing. So I think, all right, now we're gonna do a little test. So here's our JSON. All right, so here's a local host. Here's a local host. Here's a local host. If we go into configs, URL archiver. Set that to localhost. Anything that matches localhost should go. So if we run this right now, oh, put localhost in there twice. Uh oh, okay, that's okay. But we'll need to fix that. Um, just change that to a set and that'll fix that it'll just dedupe itself but if we run this right now and we go to localhost which isn't running Oh, we got to give it the future. This will kick in yesterday's links for tomorrow, for today. Here's launch pad. Yesterday's link. So here's, here's a local host. I thought there were more. 20. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Why is that different? Oh. Why is that different? That shouldn't be different. Crap. Let me figure that out first. Oh wait, am I doing some type of filtering already? 
think so. Uh, okay, so... Comments, whatever. Write markdown file. Markdown string. Where do you make the markdown string? Make markdown. Sort items. We're going through the data object. Load the JSON. Which is pulling the Dave's JSON. I did hit the right one, right? Yeah. There's two for the 16th. Not sure why that is. I'm guessing this one has 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, because there's an extra line up there. So it's nearly 19. Okay. Real quick, why is there two of those? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, stop. Got it. Okay, we're going to fix this right now because this one is really from the 15th. I'll have to go move these for real, but that's what's going on there. So this one's really 16th. If we restart Hugo. Refresh that. Okay. Now we got one. Sweet. Yesterday's links, localhost. So now, I lost Patron. Whoops. I don't know what just happened. Hopefully it still works. The test will work. Everything's still happy. Tests are passing. Are all the tests passing? And all the king's men? I've made that joke one million times again. Uh. So start it, load the configs, mark down root, set the JSON path, mark down, load the JSON, get the OSA string, set the object up, make markdown. So right before here, we're gonna do that. Now we're gonna run it again. Hey, links went away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm guessing we see the same thing over here. Yep, just saw it crunch. Whew. That took work. Uh, okay, so that's how we can do the excludes. Now, the other one that I want to do is see if regular expressions can pass, can actually, like actual res regular expressions can be passed in. Um, oh, we just nuke the data. Whew, right, forgot about that. We're actually operating on the data. So we're gonna duplicate that just so we got a backup copy. I mean, that's, that's fine. Like that's what we wanna have happen, it's just, we're testing, so I need to have test data to mess with. Um, so the trick becomes this. Step one, nope. Yep. Actually, I don't even, I don't need to mess with it right now. I like, I don't need to do weird pattern searches or anything. I'm, it'll just be based off domain to start with, and then that'll be fine. Um, so that's it. That's a good, that's a good pull. Uh, and now, 
And so now what we can do is update titles. So like the URLs are cool. But I do want to do, um, so I want to do a couple other things. Um, I'll put these in the config later, that's whatever. Um, but what I do want to do is uh, point the mic a little closer to me, I guess. So I got to figure out how to get that right better, whatever. Um, so let's see. Filter out reg X's, right? So uh, I'll come up with the actual list of stuff by going through and just updating the config. Um, flip the title of Google search to the start. Okay, so this is something that we can do. And I think, and so now that I've I'm got my head around working on the data aspect of it, we're in better shape. Uh, the first thing that we should do though is see if there's stuff we can clean up, right? So build MD link, URL and title. Um, I'm not using that right now because I'm doing all the assembly I'm just gonna let stuff sit for right now. It's fine. Everything's running. It's working. Um, oh, except I don't want to leave those there, like the cleanse, because we're not really cleansing the line. Clean data, remove excludes. That we are doing. Where's the cleanse line thing? There, make cleanse line. This might not be. It. Yeah. So let me take that out. And comment those out. Everything runs, right? Yeah. Okay. So we can get get rid of that. So build markdown link we aren't using. It. We're doing that in uh, right data, MD string, make MD string. We're doing that here. Build MD link. Oh, we are using it. I'm not gonna mess with this stuff right now. I'm, I'm comfortable with this. The, I wanna actually, like it's working, it's good. We can, I think basically all this stuff's getting used. Um, so now clean data swap Google title self, whoops, self E, you know what I didn't do, which is Probably just about as fast, but if you remember it, so I'm gonna try and remember it. So that's gonna work. And what we're gonna want is to have one that's live. Crazy. Uh, come here. How about two? So what we want is whatever. Let's call, call it that for now. So I've got it captured. We want this from that. And we're gonna make, yeah, we'll just make a new method. Like we can, we can pass this through a bunch of methods. It's fine. I mean, it's gonna, it has to get passed the same way all the time anyways. So, um, so UA clean data swap Google title. This will explode. QRS. Oops. 
passes. Um, how do we get to it? So, UA object data equals this doesn't matter. The only thing that's really going to matter is this, which we're going to start with this. So we can get rid of that. So this should still pass because we're just setting that. And then we want actual to equal object data this because that's the key which right now is gonna fail because it hasn't been manipulated yet which is all good uh, Uh, what am I doing? First thing we're gonna do is this, and just make it pass. So this is still gonna fail, right? Because we're not. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Yep. Now we should pass. There we go. So now we just need to make this happen for real. So for item in self object data, uh, so we would just do uh, find and replace basically is what it amounts to. Um, Yeah, we need an actual, I don't know why I did all this stuff. This is nuts. Regex compile, regex replacement pattern one, two, sub. So pattern is going to be Start that star Google search end replacement right now we're not going to mess with we're just going to throw that straight in and that's coming from item no, it's coming from self object item. It's getting ugly. Does that operate directly on it? I actually don't know. Or do you have to no, you gotta you gotta get the result. Okay. So it doesn't operate directly on it. Um, I just want to see what's happening there. So I got it. Okay. So really what you want is if that matches. How do you do a conditional? I mean, it would just pass through if nothing changed, right?
Uh, regex conditional matches. If I mean, I get all that, but I mean, it should just pass through, right? Well, I guess we can put two tests up on it to make sure. Yeah, because we yeah, so we want two tests. We want to make sure that it it changes some stuff and not others. I guess. I mean, not really, but whatever. Um. Well, actually, let's try this. So string equals start end. Result equals re sub nothing uh start end end start string print result gotcha but now if this doesn't match it just passes straight through okay makes total sense just wasn't in my brain right there so for item Yeah, we're just gonna do that and then set object data. For item in that search, we're just gonna loop through everything and then replace it. Oh, well you don't even have to do the result, right? You can just add it straight in because if it doesn't change, there you go. That makes sense. So this should still pass because we're hard coded. But if we do this, we're still passing. Okay, good. And now I just got to figure out the regex part of it. Okay, so regex part of it. So we've got that. How do you do replacements or the. So that's getting into doing the captures slashes slash one. With that R in front of it. So we really want to capture there. This is not going to be the right way to do this, but I want to see what happens. So it puts it up front. Okay, good. So now I think Mmm, thought we had it. Oh, got a dash. Space dash space. Let's get that out of there. There's our green. Right, so we just loop through everything and clean it. Now, if we run, and that's item potent or whatever, so it'll let us run forever. Um, refresh. Wait, so you go running? Why didn't that update? Just when you thought you had it. I feel like we're not using that. We should maybe put that in place. I did UA again, or US again. Now what we got? Google search. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, so here's here's actually what I'm thinking. So really what would be cool is to pass 
a bunch of regular expressions in here and like have configurable regular expressions for like, you know, to, to not have to touch the code basically. Cause right now I'm hard coding this in. So it'd be better to have a configuration for this. That's not gonna happen tonight. Um, what's the other one that I do wanna do tonight? Um, all right, let's commit this. Stack Overflow too. It's weird that sometimes they have that like this liquid thing, and sometimes they don't. Interesting. Um, Oh, I can, see, I can drop studio.youtube.com. We can do that right now. Again, I, so this is just, I'm kind of messing with it right now, right? Um, and so what should happen, so actually I'm gonna put that over there, put PyCharm over here, so we should be able to see it disappear. Uh, this should go away when I run this. Let's see what happens. Uh, I ran the wrong thing. This should go away when I run this. Take two. Crap. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Did I not put a comma? I didn't put a comma. This should go away when I run this. Third time is the charm. Boop, there it goes. That's really cool. I like that. Whoops, that was the wrong button. Ah, uh, sweet. So I want to do the stack overflow one. Or do I want to go ahead and pass this in as patterns? Like I know that I want to have regex patterns. So how... Just move that into here so we can actually see it better. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Um. Title update. Updates. So this is going to be a list or an array. And it's going to be two things. So the first one is going to be a pattern string. And then so what we're going to want is, so what I need to be able to do is pass the full, the full regex to it that I want to have, and then the full regex to it that I want to have it convert to, right? Uh, what would help is if I looked right here. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna need another one for stack stuff because I want to flip those URLs. That I'll probably just hard code uh, to start with because it's only the one thing that I need to do. But for the patterns, I'm definitely gonna want to have different patterns to do. Um, uh, ba, 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 here we go. 
put this down here so I can look at it. Um, so start of the line dot star to anything to space dash space stack overflow end. And we're going to put that to, oh wait. Yeah, it's an array of hashes, which I think is actually a list of dictionaries in Python, but. Um, and then we want that to be, uh, I should be testing this another way, but this is fine for now. Um, cause I need the pattern anyways. So the replacement is going to be stack overflow. Really what I want is anything slash W plus space bang space. Cause I want to get rid of this liquid. I want to get to how does Jekyll work. I don't want the liquid there. Um, why is it angry at that? Illegal escape. Oh. There you go. And actually, we should do this. Um, now I think that's gonna be it uh, sweet okay so we got one that works so we should be able hopefully to make some progress relatively quickly. So test clean swap Google. So def test clean data update titles. Your STU, yes, that's good. And guess what, we didn't do it again. My pattern is now to forget the pattern. Um, so that's good. So slash whatever is going to this, right? Um, So we're just setting our object data. Uh, the pattern that we want to hit is that, whoops, that. So this is going to bust. That's OK. We're going to do this. And that's going to work. Oh, actually, what we want to have is, oh yeah, we're going to call it straight from update or from what's the thing here uh, with this key. Uh, I do kind of like the 
syntax. It took a while to get used to it. Um, the thing that gets me the most is the indent thing where you got to like watch out for spaces versus tabs because every now and then I jump editors and they're not set up the same. Um, I did some Ruby a while ago. I don't super remember it, but I remember liking that syntax a lot. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fine. I don't, I kind of don't notice it. And I think that's nice that I don't notice it. Um, but yeah, how about you syntax good for you or is it? I mean, you do a bunch of Java stuff, right? Backend. So is that like a complete brain melt messing with it? So this is going to bust because we're throwing the wrong thing at it. Ooh, wait, make sure we're breaking for the right reason, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, we need to do this. We gotta call the right thing. Now it's gonna break because it's not matching, right? Because our things are different. Yeah, I can I can appreciate that back end in terms of like knowing exactly what you're doing and it's one of the things I've been messing around with here a little bit is there are a bunch of methods and I'm doing all instance variable stuff for it. So sometimes it's a little bit tricky to kind of keep stuff in the head. Um, but I find if I'm making the smaller and smaller methods that it's easier to see what's going on. So, but I'm, I'm, I can see the, the verboseness being, being nice too. Um, again, I haven't done that much Java, so I don't have that much, you know, real, real world experience with it. Um, but I can, I, I do like understanding things and knowing where they are. So I can see that totally. Um, okay. That's going to bust, which we expect. Cause now we just need to do what are we going to call this clean data update titles, which is going to bust. Cause that doesn't exist. Cool. Yeah, right. Um, and it's, you know, I'm trying to stay pretty, uh, you know, actually that's one of the larger ones and it's just loading config stuff or whatever, but like small little methods that just do little short things um, have been in my favor. And it's, I did a whole bunch of like, a bunch of procedural stuff for forever. That's just large things of puked out code. So, I'm having to really kind of like one of the things that's good about this for me is like I could have written this thing in no time. Uh, I spent hours on it though because I'm keep refining kind of my technique. It's kind of a practice for me in terms of like really getting the OP stuff and like also some Python stuff. Like I couldn't figure out how to break out of two loops, um, which was kind of crazy. But I've got I'll put that in a little show notes thing or whatever. It was a uh, it was a little bit of a bear. Um, this is what I ended up with where you, you end up putting a method kind of inside that returns a true or false that then lets you make a determination about what you do at the end of the loop. Um, which is, it broke my brain for a little while. I'm not going to lie. Um, but we figured it out. So it's, uh, it's good. And I'm, I'm going to, that took long enough that I'm going to write a little something up about it. Um, cause it was definitely, I did some Googling and I didn't find anybody like all the stack overflow questions didn't do the thing that I did because I had one for loop that was looping over uh, content and then another for loop that was running regular expressions. And what I needed was if one of those regular expressions hit, I needed to skip this top level for loop um, or not do something with it. And the stuff that was in there that I found didn't know how to do that. Like, in some languages, you can have named loops, right? So you could basically say, you know, top loop, bottom loop. But if bottom loop hits something, you say skip next on top loop. Python apparently doesn't have that. Um, so that's where I ended up putting in its own little method um, and then passing a true false, true false result back and then making the termination in the loop on the top level loop about what to do with it. Um, there's, 
there's probably better ways to do that, but that's the way that it kind of got there. Um, there is a continue, but the continue would only continue on the lower of the loops. I needed it to continue on the top loop because basically as soon as that regular expression hit, I knew that I didn't want that value. I needed to go to the next iteration. If I just hit continue and had something happening down at the bottom, it would have continued through the loop and eventually the lower loop, but things would have passed because it's, it's one fail that needed to kick it. But if that fail happened and it didn't go to the next iteration, then the lower one kept going. It would almost certainly look like the entire thing had passed instead of instead of seeing the one thing that got it. Um, yeah, it, it was a little bit of a all the stuff that that I was talking about, like the continue stuff would have bounced up and it could have been OK um, if you could have. There was a, another continue that you could do that basically top, caught that first that top loop that was one of the stack overflow questions, but it didn't it didn't have a conditional aspect to it inside the for loop. So it was like for loop, for loop conditional. Um, and that's where it got a little bit hairy. Um, but it worked finally. Uh, and it was, uh, there was some time. <laughs> it, it took some time. Uh, but I've got it now. And it's like one of those, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, I have this piece of code now and I threw it in a little developer notebook and I'm, I'll post about it. But like now I don't ever have to struggle with that again. Um, and hopefully other people can run into my blog post and not have to struggle with it again. Um, Cause it's, you know, solved basically, or it is a solution for it. All right, let's see what we got. Um, that up there. So we're gonna, did we put in the thing that's gonna pass us or no? We broke something good. Uh oh, I don't know what I did. Oh, I didn't put anything there. Pass. That could work. Pass. Okay. So now we just need to have. this equal our new target so this should still pass and then if we actually uncomment this and pull it it's still passing okay so we can get rid of this we're good now we can do the work everybody cool everybody cool let's just make sure all the tests pass they do all right yeah, and so what I'm trying to do right now is go through a uh, passing regular expressions in to loop over a whole bunch of titles and then make manipulations to the titles. Because um, I don't know if you had seen it, but what I've got going is uh, a little script that grabs all of my tabs throughout the day and then is making just a giant list of all the links that I visit throughout the day, because why not? Um, so I, I put in a filter earlier that will like lock out my local host stuff and my business stuff and my and like you know my youtube studio stuff like links that nobody else can get to because it's all like password stuff um and then now i'm doing so like i just flipped over and i've got google search it used to be cleansed dash google search but i wanted it to say google search so they're all alphabetized and you can kind of see them all so that's that's where this is headed um yeah, and so with the blog post stuff, one of the other things I'm trying to do uh, that's kind of on my list is, um, so I use this app called uh, Envy Alt to, as a text editor, and then my developer notebook, um, and I call it my grimoire, a book of magic. Um, but one of the things I'm looking at doing is tagging stuff with snippet, because it's just a text editor so that I can keep it in my developer notebook, but then just kind of do little write-ups in here and have it automatically post out. So that's a project that's coming down the pipe. Um, I, I don't know, It's I'm probably getting, that's probably high up on the list because um, it's I really like the idea of getting stuff on the blog and getting that stuff out there um, to, to go through. And also it helps me focus when I write up stuff uh, and really understand what I'm doing. Um, Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 
the uh and the number of times that i've been like i need to find that link that i know i saw maybe three or four days ago and then you have trouble actually googling it like if it's not a stack overflow thing but it's like some random person's blog post those like sometimes i can't get back to those or it takes forever to get back to them so th that's kind of the idea um and then also the other one that'll be fun too is uh i'm gonna set up another one that actually just counts the number of tabs that i have open and st time stamp it like every five minutes or whatever so i can see like the tabs open and close for the day or whatever um it's just it's fun like i'm just just kind of messing around with this stuff right now but it's a fun fun little project um uh but yeah, so right now I'm doing regex to come into these to make some changes. Um, and so the other thing I need to do is we actually need to load in uh, this. To our test. So that's going to look like this. And this and this. All right. So, what do I call it? Test title updates. Oops. pass right whoops ran the wrong thing passing so let's put this up here since it's a new thing all right so we've got the title updates so it's a key no so we've got so print I just want to print this out right because it's in a list. I don't know what just happened there. Right, so we should see a pattern show up down here. There's our pattern, okay. Now the question is with, um, well, let's just start by, oh, so we need to actually go through yeah, we need to do the two lists again. So for object key and self object data, so that should still pass because we're not doing anything. Yep. And then here we're just gonna update itself just to make sure this actually works. Just to give us a target, right? And if we close that, oh, actually that's not gonna work yet. Uh, that's okay. Um, so we've got that, now we just need to do our regex. So regular expression, Uh, sub and I'm just gonna manually put in the patterns right now I don't want to have to you know I just want to get it working to start with before we start fighting with it okay so it's gonna pass because we're hard coding it but now the question is is the pattern right all right, the pattern's right. Uh, okay, so the question now is, does this just work if we do this? Because I have no idea if this is gonna fly or not. Um, let's comment. Oh, it worked. Oh, that's sweet. Now, the uh, second question. 
Will this one work? <clears throat> yes, it does. That's awesome. And just to make sure we really are testing what we think we're testing, uh, just change it a little bit and it explodes. Change it back and it works. Nice. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, so you can just pass in straight strings and it deals with them. That's awesome. Uh, all right, so that probably works. Clean data update titles. I'm not loading that can into the config yet though. So I need to load that into the config. Uh, oh, that was the wrong file. Um, yeah, so do that. I'm loading this config weird, like really explicitly. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, this is going to blow up if there's not one in both places. That's okay. Uh, I can make that happen. We're gonna need title updates to exist in both places. So title updates, title update. Feel like something's on fire. What's going on? Oh, in. Good. <clears throat> I don't, I'm not having a good way to test my config loads uh, right now, which is whatever. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, the question is, if we look here, so there's our stack overflow lines here. If we run this, I feel like I made a bunch of changes, but we'll see what happens. Well, it ran, but it did not update. Oh, because I'm not calling it yet. Uh, what was this, what's it called? Update titles. All right, so if we run this, see if these stack overflows move. There they go, got it. And it dropped the little thing in front of it too, perfect. Oh wait, this one didn't work. Oh yeah, because it's got, it's weird, because it's got two different things. Like sometimes there's a little uh, indicator, like a little tag that comes up in front, but sometimes it's not there. But if we have this right, especially because it's going through it in that order. So in this case, we just want this. Save. Whoops, no comma. Save. Let's see if we can get this one to move. Just with a config. Please work. There it goes. Sweet. Nice. Very nice. 
Yeah, and then oh yeah, actually why not? Let's do uh let's do a Hugo one. Um Uh so same same thing. Actually let's just grab this one. Ah whatever. Come here. Oh, I did that backwards. I should have had this. So start of anything. Go to Hugo. Goes back to Hugo with the rest of it. Save that. I really should be testing these rag axes with actual things, but whatever. Oh, busted it. What did I do? Oh, it didn't like. Oh, you can't. It needs a double slash for the slash. Is that right? Yes. Okay, that should be right. Crap. Invalid escape. Now why didn't that work? That's a lot of es escapes. Escape line 17, column 27. What the hell is going on? Where is my columns numbers? 31, 27. How's that invalid? What is happening? that to actually happen. So let's do that. It's still giving me this. Something else is going on. Okay, what the hell? Oh, was I not saving that this whole time? God damn it. <laughs> I was hitting the wrong key. Too many switches back and forth between stuff. Hey, Hugo, it worked. Okay. Um, I'm excited about this. This is cool. Uh, yeah, so I did one... Uh... Yesterday. Yeah. Oh, there's only a few of them there. Wait a minute. Yesterday's links. This one? Yeah, so I'll go through and clean those up too. It'll be uh it'll be kinda cool. Um I'm excited about that. That's really cool. Uh that's a fun little project that I was just messing with, so I I like it. But uh anyways, that's uh that's gonna do it for me for tonight. Um got a meetings in the morning that people scheduled earlier than they should have, but I will pay them back in blood. I don't know. I got nothing. Uh, <laughs> have a good night. We'll see you all. Take it easy and uh, t be care. Be care. Be kind. Till next time. See you.